Hey guys, it's me, Samara. And I'm Brandon. And welcome back to the Adventure Academy Science Fair. So we bought this new lava lamp and we got to thinking that we should create one of our own. And we found out how to do it. And you can do it too. You'll need an empty plastic bottle. Take a cup of water and pour in some food coloring. Next, you'll need some vegetable oil. Pour it in, but leave two inches at the top. If you let it sit still for a few seconds, you'll start to notice that the oil will float to the top because it's lighter than the water. Actually, it's not that it's lighter than the water, it's that it's less dense than the water. Density is a measure of how much mass something has compared to the amount of space that it takes up. That's called the volume. This marshmallow and this rock are about the same size, so they have the same volume. But the rock has a greater mass, so it has a greater density. I get it. The rock feels heavier than the marshmallow because it has more stuff packed inside of it than the marshmallow, so it has a greater density. Brandon! You're not supposed to eat the science props. Liquids can have different densities too. The oil is less dense than the water, so it floats to the top. Now everybody, get ready for eruption time. Take one of those seltzer tablets and break it in half. Then drop it in and watch what happens. They both sink to the bottom. Is it because they're more dense than the water and the oil? You got it. Oh, now look, they're starting to fizz. Yep, when the tablets hit the water, a reaction takes place that releases a whole bunch of carbon dioxide gas. So they float to the top, carrying some water with them. I get it. So when the gas bubbles reach the top, they pop. The gas escapes and the water that was around them sinks back down. When the water reaches the bottom, it picks up more gas and goes back to the top. And it will keep doing that until the tablet is completely dissolved. But don't worry, you can start it up again by just breaking in another one and dropping it in. You guys gotta try this. So there you go, another cool science project you could build with your friends. See you next time, bye! bye.